Once you've recognized your dream, how do you stay focused on implementing it? You have to have a mixture of things. Keep dreaming. Keep dreaming. And dream on different levels. But at the same time, you have the dream. Now you need more work. And there's no replacement for good, old-fashioned hard work. And that's why we talk about social media and YouTube and Facebook and all of the different videos that the people post and the different wise quotes, quotes of this one, quotes of that one. And they give you all these romantic, dreamy quotes, inspirational quotes, right? It seems so nice, so good, oh, wow, so philosophical. But oftentimes it's deceiving. This video is a means of deception. As a wise man once said, that it takes 10% inspiration and 90% perspiration. 10% inspiration, 90% sweat. So once you have your dream, you keep dreaming, but you can't just keep dreaming. Now you have to actually sweat. You have to work for it now. Okay? And if you're not willing to sacrifice everything that you have to make your dream come true, then you know what you'll get or what you won't get. If you're not willing to give everything for your cause, then you're not, there's no way you can reach the top. You may go far, you may get a little success, but there's no way you can reach the top unless you make it your life, unless you make it something that you're willing to give everything for. You have to be devoted and dedicated. And most people who are successful, who have a great deal of talent, and they turn that talent into skill, into a profession, being a legend, most people there are considered obsessed by their friends and their family members. You're giving it too much time. You're going crazy. You're spending too much time. Maybe it is to you, but not what I saw last night or not what I saw yesterday when I was awake daydreaming. I saw it. It was vivid. I can do it by Allah's permission. Then I have to sweat. So you have to work hard, okay? And it's not an easy, simple thing. There won't be no handouts, but you have to work for everything that you get. You have to work hard. So be the night to keep dreaming, but most importantly, make the practical steps. Make the what? The practical steps. So let's talk about basketball. How many Muslim youth want to play basketball? Love playing basketball. They, they, everybody, they dribble the ball, they play, they love basketball, basketball, basketball. I want to go to the NBA, I want to be like this one, I want to be like that one, right? But how many people are practicing at night and reading about strategy and philosophy of basketball? How many people are studying tape? How many people are going to summer camps all year round? How many people are playing basketball when it's cold outside? Have you ever seen this? You guys ever seen this before? I know you've seen Abu Saeed. We come from the urban. Have you ever seen someone playing basketball and shoveling the snow off of the court? Taking off his jacket, hands are frozen, still wet and slushy outside playing basketball because they don't have an inside gym. There is no gymnasium. They have the outside, but they love basketball so much and they want to go to the NBA so bad, they play when it's freezing cold. Ever understand this? Most people, they're afraid of their hands getting cold. It's too cold to play basketball. They can't be professional basketball players. You understand what I'm saying to you? So you have to work hard, and you have to realize that the dreams are now not at a minimum now. That's, that was only the spark. That was only the what? The ignition. The rest is jet fuel now. That was the spark. Now the rest is just what? Fuel. And you have to stay on course. And you have to remove anything that's going to get in the way. And most importantly, practical, small steps that turn into leaps. And Milano's best.